Back in the old days, growers used to protect against hail, sun, and wind by trying to select sites that were less prone to hailstorms or less windy. The only way they could really work on sun is they, they tried to grow the tree in such a manner that they created some shade. That worked to some extent, uh, but it doesn't eliminate sunburn. The implications to the industry are if a fruit gets sunburned, it's lost. Uh, we lose all commercial value. So, you know, if I have 10% sunburn on 400,000 apples, I've just lost 40,000 apples. On an average year, we'd, to sunburn, we probably we would lose 15%. And uh, the idea is to try and get that back to probably 5%, which obviously gives us a uh, 10 to 15% more into our top pond. We have started this year doing a trial with uh, three different products. We picked out five grows in each trial, uh, sprayed them with the different products exactly the same time with the same techniques. We picked ten bins of, of each uh, product and that goes in the cool store and will be graded off, done by an independent person. We'll work out exactly what uh, percentage is uh, up to standard. And previously before these trials we, we were just probably like everyone else, trying to put more vigour on the trees to help cover the fruit, uh, minimise our water stress uh, by monitoring it a lot more closely, uh, applying it, you know, at night times instead of day times. I guess the final straw in the making us make the decision to go for sunscreens was, uh, I think back in 2006, we actually got really badly hit, uh, probably 25% sunburn. We've looked at the uh, losses and decided that there was somewhere along the line we had to come up with with some other way of protecting our crops. So. Cost can be $1,000 a hectare, which is nothing to be laughed at. It's a, it's a lot of money. Basically, we went for the trial to try and ascertain which is the best product we could use and best value. With the technique of putting it on, we modified a existing spray to actually cover down from the top. We, uh, we went upstairs, so it actually sprays down inside the, the trellis. And, uh, and also sprays up inside, that's giving us much better coverage than just the existing machine from the bottom of the, from the uh, normal sprayer. The advantage of uh, using the power spray is that you're getting the spray coming down from where the sun would come, getting it coming down on top of the fruit, whereas with a conventional sprayer you're spraying up and you're getting the bottom of the fruit. We've done uh, conventional spraying with sunscreens for the last probably three or four years now with only a little advantage. Uh, since we've gone to the power sprayer, we're probably uh, saving 80% of our sunburn. It's a big saving, any farmer can do it. it might cost three to four thousand dollars to set up a sprayer. And from then on, you're gonna be reaping the rewards. Basically, with the uh, products we're using, we're trying to achieve a, a lovely finish like that on our fruit. What happens with the sunburn, this would probably be in the seconds line at a lesser price. This would be in a juice line and this would be a total loss where we just left to go to the cows or something. That's the difference, it costs the same money to grow that as all that. The expectations are realistic. We also believe that there is other ways and means of covering the crop, but cost effect wise, uh, we believe that the sunscreens are probably the, the way for us to go. Having uh, made the decision to uh, use the protection, the reason for that was to uh, try and get a, a lot better product at the end without wasting that 15% that goes to juice every year. So yeah, the idea is to uh, basically try and improve our, our bottom line. So. I'd certainly recommend it to other growers as a technique that's well worth uh, having a, a look at. If you want to know more about this program, contact your Industry Grower Association or the DPI Customer Service Line. 136 186